Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the review of a very unpredictable leak uh, over the past two weeks. I posted a video of Liverpool 7-0 over United last week which you can find here so I will not lose a lot of t uh, time on that here. Except mentioning that part of the unpredictability is Liverpool who you know Again, follow up a huge win against the Manchester team at home with a loss to a newly promoted side like they did um, uh, earlier uh, this season when they won against City and then lost to Nottingham Forest. It just exemplifies the similar unpredictable uh, Spurs. Similar unpredictable is what's happening in the relegation battle uh, where now the teams are picking up results. And while I still think that in Germany it's a tighter and probably even more nerve-wracking uh england is a very very close second where it's really hard to see who is actually gonna stay in the only thing that for now seems a certainty and even there i'm not quite sure but arsenal look really really good in the title in the title race at the moment with the wins they're getting and um if it wasn't for the big seven nil I think we will definitely be talking about Arsenal win over Bournemouth. And now this wonderful performance I showed at Fulham. However, I know the moment I say that, they're gonna muck it up somewhere. Um, and City are just very, very, very consistent. So, you know, again, unpredictability everywhere. I'm wearing Chelsea, who? Not only in the Champions League, they have now gotten three wins in a row after we talked about how bad they are, although they have been underperforming their XG largely. And now they even can score more than one goal. They did so against Dortmund, they did so at Leicester. And keep speaking of Leicester, that's a team that you got to worry about a little bit. Because they might walk into a relegation battle that they did not expect. And I'm not sure if they're equipped to fight that one. Let's move into past weekend, first weekend of March, the early game and nominally the best game was City against Newcastle United. However, as soon as Foden made it 1-0, there was really no coming back for uh, Newcastle. And then uh, Bernardo Silva makes a nice one. The, win, the most remarkable thing is that Holland is not, not scoring. And that is still a discussion that Holland is uh, changing United. To me, it just beggars belief. That guy has had a fantastic season. And if City don't win, it's not down to Holland. It's down that Arsenal is really, really, really good. And Arsenal showed as much in their win at Bournemouth. I mean, the first goal came in the first minute. And it should not have come because at, at kickoff there was a Bournemouth player already in the opposing half. Um, and Arsenal had a really hard time getting back into it. And it didn't help that Senesi uh, scores then uh, to the tunnel in the 57th. However, Thomas Partey, who made a mistake on the amount of pre-previous goals, came back and that kind of rallied um, uh, Arsenal, um, assisted by Smith-Rowe. And then uh, Reese Nelson comes on for Smith-Rowe, same position, kind of, kind of. And he assists Ben White, a goal that I hate is when, you know, the ball is over the line, but it doesn't hit the back off of that. It doesn't really sound like, uh, look like a real uh, goal. But um, Ben White gets the equalizer. In that moment, I think everyone expected that the third goal is only a matter of time because Arsenal came back from that. Bournemouth uh, hanging on, fighting for dear life. And then deep into stoppage time, Maurice Nelson takes a shot and curls it nicely into the corner 3-2 and those are the wins the champions do uh it's another one we had it at villa we had it now and it's really it's these types of win that uh push you forward the question is how many can it do i mean also there would be some routine wins uh needed in there um palace is another team that we probably have to start worrying about losing one in aston villa brighton completely destroying west ham another team that we gotta worry about a little bit chelsea get the win and again uh wasting many chances against leeds a leeds team that actually fought quite well and was not bad in, in the game but for fana had the winner spurs the Spursy things counted probably on his way of not renewing the contract and Spurs have to restart again. Just don't get Pochettino. It never works if you do it for a second time. Um, they had actually chances. He hit, 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 I think the woodwork twice 
And then uh, when it all seemed like to go nil-nil, Adama Traoré scores a really weird scissor kick goal to give Wolves a pretty big win. Southampton also get themselves out of it. Even with James Ward Prowse missing a penalty ball, Alcaraz uh, converts a goal uh, after an Adams pass. I think it was a, it was a really nice counter, I guess, far as I can remember now. Uh, but uh, so suddenly Southampton look also a little bit in, in the running of getting all, out of trouble. And this is one of those losses that Leicester should not have done. Speaking of the relegation battle, Everton really really should not have lost that game to for Forest. I mean, they were really in control of the, fir of, of the first half, had only a 2-1 lead, and then they concede a late Johnson goal through a defensive error. Uh, that will hurt a lot. Liverpool 7-0 against United. As I said, we had already a video that had the other thing linked up. Um, I had the thought, I think I didn't mention the video, I was wondering myself whether this is just a blip. Yeah, seemingly was just a blip uh, there and a freak result in a odd season. But you know, it's a, a major result, and you know, more said than that. Brentford three to over Fulham. That was actually uh, quite good this display, and it seems like Fulham have hit their ceiling and are now coming down a little bit uh, to to the normal parts. Uh, Pinock, Tony, and Jensen score, scoring the goals for uh, the Bees. On this past weekend, and apologies again, I did not see all much, but I followed the uh, Bournemouth 1 0 over Liverpool, where Billing gave Bournemouth a, the lead. And I ha has, we have said that Bournemouth were just in midfield better, and whatever they showed well against Arsenal, they also did against Liverpool. Who couldn't cope and if the front three don't, don't click nothing nothing clicks they get a rather soft penal penalty that Salah doesn't even put on goal I mean this was so far away uh, I couldn't even, even, even believe it and at that point I knew this is the game the match turner if Liverpool would have converted they probably would have gone on to win the, the, the one but this gave Bournemouth the lift and they hold on and get a big 1-0 win. The other Liverpool win, Everton to also get a big, pretty big win over Brentford. Leeds United come back twice against a uh, high-flying Brighton. Not as high, but you know, Bright Brighton are one of the positive surprises of the season. And Chelsea also, a rather routine win at Leicester uh, with Ben Chilwell getting a goal against the team that he had played for before. Uh, Joao Felix had a goal disallowed. Uh, Patson Daka gets an eagle, but Havertz then quick uh, before the half uh, with another really nicely played goal uh, makes it 2 1. And second half, too, to be honest, it really just looked like when will Chelsea do it? Yes, there, there was a really good equalizing chance for Leicester. But once this was missed, uh, Mudrik scored a goal that was offside, but the Kovacic goal that was received by Mudrik was actually a pretty cool one. Spurs can win, well, against, Spur uh, against uh, Forest after a horror, horrible week where they got ousted by Milan, they lose to uh, Wolves, no, Kane and Son scoring, and I think if Spurs want to do anything, it has to be Kane and Son. Uh, Richarlison goal, he started after some complaints, uh, was also can can cancelled cancel out. Forrest pulled one back in the 81st and then missed a penalty, but you know, I think it's a 96 uh, minute penalty. You would have expected Spurs to win, so it was a little bit tighter than it probably needed to be. Uh, City looking again kind of odd in the end, win thanks to a Holland penalty. Yes, they were the better team, yes, they deserved it, but I think Palace gave them a fight, although Palace at the moment don't, don't look quite right. At least Holland is back on the scoring sheet. And what City looked uh, unconvincing, uh, Arsenal looked totally convincing. I mean, that first half, again, I saw mostly highlights, but they looked like champions elect. Uh, Gabriel Martinelli and Odegaard score, score, scoring the goals, fully attacking that game was never in doubt. This was the routine win that our Arsenal needed. It could have been many more goals. On the flip side, United, yes, a red early red card through card to Casemiro. Uh, definitely put a spanner in there. Uh, it was a game where Ten Hag then was not very happy with the um, uh, refereeing calls in between. 
Uh, a game that had chances on both sides. In the end, it's a nil-nil and uh, caps off a not so good week overall for United. Yes, you win in the Europa League, but I think if you cannot win against Saints, uh, but Saints having enough picked up four points against Leicester and United, uh, it's also not sounding too bad. Um, the Hammers and Villa uh, play out a 1-1 draw in Newcastle get back to winning ways they needed a win for a, a long a long time uh two one against wolves uh almiron scoring a 79th minute winner after isaac and uh huang have scored the first two goals and so the standings are at the moment as follows we have arsenal five points and now they are favorites uh it's a 60 40 thing i have to say that i unfortunately encountered a um glitch in my Calculations where the results for Liverpool, the away results, were all mirrored the Chelsea results. So I have now uh, undone this and now it looks all a little bit better and more realistic. So yeah, it was my, mis my mistake, but hey. errors unfortunately do happen. So on top it seems clear uh, on the bottom you can see I arguably Starting at Crystal Palace is the relegation zone because it's only five points between Palace and Southampton and there are still many games to be played. It's uh, at least for some it's 12 games still to, to be played. So there's a whole lot that can happen there. Um, at the moment, it seems like Southampton are going down with Bournemouth, with Everton and with Forest as the favorites for going down. But I wouldn't say that this is a foregone conclusion. It's more down to ratings than anything else. Um, and it's exactly those three that go down. Also, the top four chase in the, uh, that you see now in the expected uh, standing here. Uh, it's now Spurs ahead of Liverpool. Uh, Newcastle is in there. It's really, really tight. And if Brighton can pick up the points, they have many games to, 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 to make up. Um, they might get into that. I cannot quite believe it. Uh, same thing goes for Chelsea, who are, 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 are a step behind. But at the moment, it seems to be a three race between Spurs, Liverpool and Newcastle. I think United should be safe, despite having lost so heavily. Upcoming games. This round seven, you know, the one was cancelled uh, because of the initial one. We get one more game back between Southampton and Brentford. Um, and also, we finish up the um, week, week, weekend of the funeral. Uh, between Brighton and Crystal Palace, that's of course a derby, so that makes it for sure interesting there as well. These, these, those, those two are all midweek, um, you know, almost concurrent with the Champions League. Given that the Wednesday games are already more or less pre-decided, it might actually not be a bad idea to watch uh, the Premier League for once. Uh, on the weekend, we don't have a full schedule uh, and I don't think we have a really a great game to pick out. I mean, Arsenal, Crystal Palace is uh, Vieira against Arsenal. Chelsea, Everton, Wolves, Leeds. Pick, pick your bunch. I don't see a game that really sticks out, but you know, for the relegation battle, there could be some. Why are three games postponed? Because we also have the FA Cup, of course, uh, where we have the quarterfinal fixtures. Again, the pick of the bunch is definitely United against Fulham. Uh, where Fulham, yeah, the way they have been going, it seems like it, it is going, going, it's, it's going well ever since they made it to, to the quarterfinal. Fulham have been so and so. Well, it was a little bit of a shorter one, but I think that's actually all right. Uh, over, over, overall, that was it from me for the Premier League for the uh, last two weeks. Please let me know what you thought about hap the happenings this week. Uh, again, I have a dedicated video for the 7-0 because I thought this is just a result that deserves its own video. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.